Gold Exporters Bureau convenes in Khartoum. Member of the Sovereign Council, Raja Nicola, met at her office with the U.S. Representative Jamal Abdurrahman. The representative said in a press release that the meeting discussed delivery of medical apparatus, medicine and the relevant needs. The two sides further stressed significance of fostering joint cooperation to facilitate delivery of aid to the region. The leader of the Sudan Liberation Army movement, Menno Arkuminnawi, arrived in Juba, the capital of South Sudan state, on Sunday, coming from the Chadian capital of N'Djamena, where he inspected the refugees' camps in eastern Chad. The movement's information secretary, Mohammed Hassan Harun, said Minnawi accompanied by Chadian government delegation with the aim of completing the peace process. He was received at Juba Airport by the advisor of security affairs of the president of South Sudan State and the Southern Chief Mediator, Tud Galwak, Minister of Investment, the rapporteur of the Mediation Committee, Dr. Dio Matok, and the members of the Mediation Committee. Western Darfur government held a meeting in collaboration with the Freedom and Change Forces and the meeting tackled the issues connected to the state population stability and means of fostering delivery of essential needs in all domains. Mechanism of managing the transitional period was addressed as well. Both parties set out bases for further coordination in a bid to enhance peace, stability and sustainable development in the region. The Director General of the Central Bureau of Statistics, Ali Muhammad Abbas, has discussed with the Chief Political Affairs Officer of the African Region at the United Nations within the planning team and the delegation of the introduction of the United Nations Integrated Transition Assistance Mission in Sudan, UNITAMS, which was formed by Resolution 2425, the CBS role in the transitional period in providing all data and statistics that enable the various sectors to fulfill their obligations, in addition to conducting the sixth population housing census and the comprehensive agricultural census planned to be implemented during the next two years, as well as the challenges they encountered in terms of resources, technical assistance and manpower. The governor of Jazeera State, Dr. Abdullah Idris, decreed Sunday the relieving of Jazeera State Government Secretary General Adil Muhammad Al Hassan. The decree appointed Uthman Abdin Abdullah as the Secretary General of Jazeera State Government. The Acting Minister of Agriculture and Natural Resources, Engineer Abdul Ghadir Turkawi, has revealed that the areas targeted for cultivation in the summer season amounted to 63 million fedans, stressing that the establishment of the crops has been progressing in a good way. In a statement to Suna, the Minister of Agriculture expected the success of the summer season after the heavy rains that in the country witnessed, pointing out that the agriculture began in all the states. Engineer Turkawi disclosed that one of the threats to the agricultural season was the lack of the use of improved seeds, stressing that his ministry has been pursuing to increase the production of improved seeds to provide seeds for all the cultivated area. The minister said that the ministry has set up a chamber to follow up closely the agricultural operations with all states to solve the problem of agricultural fewer smuggling in cooperation with the concerned security authorities. Gold Exporters Bureau urged the executive authority represented in the Council of Ministers to tightly control commercial banks. Speaking to Suna Forum, the Secretary General of the Gold Exporters Department spelled out export policies and the problems hindering the gold export. He pointed out to the precautions designed recently to sustain such strategic resources. And now we remind you with the headlines. Nicola meets with the US aid representative. Minnawi in Juba for peace talks. Gold Exporters Bureau convenes in Khartoum. Well, that was it from Shirok TV. Thank you for following. See you tomorrow.